The protesters are upset over a special permit the city of Winona granted a private company to expand its frac sand mining operations. It comes nearly three months after the city issued a one-year moratorium to study the environmental and health impacts of the sand. News 8's Pauline Lee joins us now in our studio with the details. Pauline? Well, it's an issue protesters say has been pushed to the side and somewhat ignored for way too long. They're hoping the protest today brings a strong message to City Hall. Put health and environmental concerns before the money. Protesters showed up by the dozens in Winona to make sure the city hears them loud and clear. It's been brought into the city against our will, and city council and other elected officials have been able to kind of push that aside and push our concerns aside. Frack sand, no way. Ho, 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 ho. They thought the issue of frack sand mining was put to rest, at least for a while when the city issued a one-year moratorium in March to study the environmental and health impacts of the sand. However, that decision exempt existing frack sand businesses, including the Bison Mine and the city's port. But when the city issued a special permit for a private company to expand its frack sand business using the city's port, these protesters wanted answers. The port is also a way for the city to make money. So that was immediately a concern. So they decided to bring their concerns, 100 pounds of it, to City Hall and leave it there. And to have it on the steps of City Hall, we're really forcing our officials to deal with the issue of frac sand. Lucy McMartin is the Director of Economic Development. She says the city has no intentions of ignoring their concerns, but it's about judging both sides fairly. You know, there, there are two different perspectives, one a business side and one, one the environmental and health concerns that citizens have. So I think that we can uh, reach a balance between what needs to be done to protect our quality of life. This can't be ignored anymore! We are studying the issue. The Planning Commission has wor been working very hard and our planning staff to take a look at the issues that are of concern to citizens of Winona. So we take it very seriously, the job that we're being charged with. And these protesters just hope their actions have left a strong message for city officials. Whose side are you on, Winona? Whose side are you on? Now the city does make about 28 cents per ton from a transportation fee at the port. Last year, 150,000 tons of commodities, including coal, salt, fertilizer, and sand, passed through the port. That's about a total of $42,000. Thank you, Pauline. A citizen group filed an appeal to the city council on the special permit. The council is having a hearing on the appeal June 4th. The protesters are planning a similar event the same day just before the hearing. Also, we should mention one of the protesters today was ticketed for littering.